Hey y'all, David Atkins, Target Individual. I'm back with another video. Um, today I'm going to be talking about spooking to death. Um, it's a little excerpt article out of Dr. Robert Duncan's book, uh, Project Soul Catcher. So I'm going to start off with a word. And if y'all ain't a believer or whatever, then, you know, fast forward it past this part. Um, it's just a quick verse, and you know, it's John 16, 33. I've said these things to you that in me you may have peace in the world. You have the tribulation, but take heart. I have overcome the world. But I like the King James Version better. It says, these things I've spoken unto you, that in me you shall have peace, but in the world you shall have tribulation. But be of good cheer. I have overcome the world, which means no matter what happens to you, in the end, bam, we will get our reward, you know. Most of the disciples, I stress this, most of the disciples of people that followed Jesus suffered persecution, everything, smear campaigns, you know what I'm saying? They hated everywhere they went, big time persecution. So anyway, just keep that in mind. And I'm going to go ahead and start this video. And, you know, I printed this all. It's called Spooking to Death. Inducing prolonged and intense stress on the target can cause heart failure and strokes. The techniques range from a runaway adrenaline process to inducing heart arrhythmias and vascular contractions to raise blood pressure to unsafe levels in order to find a defect of weakness. Even during the free torture Bush era's torture doctrines required a physician present. When purposefully torturing one to death, the rule of law doesn't apply. Unfortunately, federal law is simply don't get caught, deny everything, and dead men don't talk. Killing someone with just information, cellular communication, and neurological weapons can be more difficult than one might suspect. It can take a long time in many cases, but the combined probabilities of the thousands of different techniques add up. This is why they are spending so much money and human resources on perfecting this weapon. As interesting side note, many of the behavior modifications to the death techniques can be defeated by their faith and religion. However, religion can be used against the target, too, using the voice of God, which I like to call the voice of the devil, and in omnipotent techniques. It can't stop the torture, but it can stop the quick kills and the use of humans as an assassin for political and military reasons. Unfortunately, Muslim jihads are easily used by these techniques, while Christians have some defenses unless they're extremists. Spooking. Also involves many psychological techniques as the stalking and computer tampering. The CIA has been proven their creative ways to scare, control, and torture. In physical renditions, using barking, growling dogs, sexual humiliation, and playing on ever fear, such as suffocation or threats against family are traditionally used by these people. If one studies crime families, one can understand how the CIA and some other agencies and financial institutions act as a self-protection racket to hide their crimes. In remote renditions, different methods are employed. Threats to torture and kill the person or family are still used, but they have to be creative since the physical threats must be implied. One interesting computer virus developed by the CIA, etc., can be inserted by communications warfare using, war using the 802.11 wireless protocols to any vulnerable computer in the world using satellites and harp like global communication systems. Specialized viruses can be easily found by the average person using virus checking software. Virus checking software only looks for the most common viruses and those that spread maliciously that are reported. The CIA viruses are not meant to spread from computer to computer, check this out, and only attack the target machine then purge themselves usually so that they leave no trace. They are meant to be psycho interactive and spread from the computer through the visual or audio ports of the human into their psychology and possibly thereby have that person spread the fear to other humans. These techniques are still classified in general category of mind viruses and psychotronic viruses, despite the way the terror and the fear is induced into the culture. And um, 802.11 is um, found on DARPA project website, also included an electronic warfare unit in the Air Force. Okay, as an example, one of these specialized malware spooking virus was captured by a government whistleblower. Graphic cards have their own processors and can run instruction sets. Many hackers figured out they can insert their own code to be run in graphics processors and cannot be detected by standard virus checkers. This, and this semi-famous satanic spooking virus is used effectively to scare the hell out of the target. It only works if the conditions are right. Its mode of attack is in the human psyche, using a computer with a video camera on it 
pointed at the target. The idea is to make the target see an image of him or herself as if they are possessed by a demon. This is accomplished by altering the uh, aperture, exposure, and contrast parameters by creating an overexposure in digital cram cameras, movements showing teeth and eyes come out very spooky like alien lizards. The eyes look like slits due to, to the bleeding of the white into the dark space and the teeth become sharp and pointed. In addition to the scary images of the target, the overexposed background turns white using face identification algorithms. The target's rough images put into the foreground while mixing in horrific images of people getting their heads cut off or something similarly horrific in the background. Since this uses a significant amount of computing power in real time, the frame rate tends to be fairly slow around seven frames per second. Seven frames per second. There's a variation on the spooking virus where the virus will find pictures most recently viewed on the target's hard drive, use face identification, then alter the picture with demonic red eyes that are quite subtle. Face identification is imperfect, so the technique doesn't always work. Included on the CD's teacher's edition in some source of code or another computer viruses that is meant to drive the target crazy and decrease productivity by 20%, uses small nuances is like switching keystrokes on their computer ever so often to make them believe their computer is breaking down. This virus is also classified under economic warfare. And I, I that reminds me of a situation where I would, they had my phone so I, I would push one button way over, like I'd push the W button and bam, the T button would press, or I'd press the T button and a button on the other side would show up. Like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, that was just a quick video. I'm um, like, cause this is real deep information. So, um, I'm going to need some time to process it. So I just kind of ran a quick article out of this. So if you thought it was dull or whatever, just give me a chance here. Cause I mean, I'm, I got like three books I'm studying and, uh, you know, it takes a lot of studying, a lot of mental stuff to decode information, so to speak, or get the right information. So bear with me on this. It's just a quick video. Um, and God bless you. I hope you're having a good week. I don't know what I'll do a video on tomorrow, but I guarantee I'll do one because I have plenty of information. Like I said, I just pulled the rabbit out of the hat with this one. Um, like um, there's there's stuff going deep on weapons that cause heart attacks and, and how they work and how mind tricks they play on us and all kinds of stuff. Uh, so I'm getting in some deep stuff coming up in the next few days and the next couple weeks. So anyway, God bless y'all. I hope y'all having a good weekend considering what y'all are going through. And good night.